as my homies Rick and Nady say, last set, best set. Father, give me the strength to make it through this last round. Safe and strong. Amen. Here we go. Oh, gee, top of the evening to you, man. It is January the 3rd. Guess what OG's about to do? In order to beat the fat, in order to get in shape, sometimes you got to push past your own self and put in some work, man. So today, I decided an improv workout number two. I did back this morning. Today, tonight, this evening, it's 4.53. After a long day's work, time for some cardio. And of course, you know I'm not going to do the normal walk on a treadmill or get on the elliptical, go for a walk. That's for them other guys. But for us OGs, we're going to do some functional training with a barbell. I'm going to show you all about it, how I do it. Matter of fact, what I do is not nothing new. Several people online do it. And sometimes being a trainer, I just want somebody to show me something and I just want to do it. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to follow Nikki's workout. She posted today on Instagram. Here it goes. That's a workout she's doing. And I'm going to do the same thing she did today. That workout right there. Yeah, man. I'm going to do that right there because I need to go burn some calories, dude. OG, gained a little weight this morning. I weighed 238. Yesterday, I weighed 242. It's about a four pound fluctuation. All that's water. I'm working up to my goal for cut time. So I'm preparing pre, I'm preparing with a pre before my cut. Cut meaning I'm gonna start losing weight. And if you hear me talk before, if you know a little thing about my history, you know I've done fasting. Fasting is my way to cut. Now, let's remind, I'm gonna remind all the people who's watching, like, oh dude, you just cutting calories. Yeah. But my way of cutting calories, my way of trimming down the amounts I eat has to be the way that works for me, right? For you, OG, you have to remember, you have to do things in fitness and in life period that works for you. I'm not saying that fasting will work for everyone, but for my lifestyle, the way I am, the way I do things, fasting is perfect. And my fasting approach is three forms. I got three forms of fasting. 16 hours a day of going without with food, 20 hour a day or 23 hours, which is the OMAD. And I did that back in 2022 and still do it now, fluctuating with it. But now coming January the 7th, I think that's that Monday, me, AD and Rick are going to start our fast for six weeks straight. We're going to slowly, gradually grow into one meal a day. I'm not going to go cold turkey like I did before. But I'm going to slowly, gradually go into fasting. So that's the goal. And the reason why we want to do that is to lose weight, to trim down, to get rid of excess fat, to take off excess pounds that us OGs don't need. Man, we don't need to be weighing too much. I'm 242 pounds, 5'9". I'm too short and too heavy for an OG like me. All right? For you guys, I, I highly recommend to try fasting. Fasting will get you to the point of getting to a weight that you're comfortable with. And you learn more about yourself through fasting. And not only that, there are some way more upsides. What is those upsides? You get to heal your gut. You get to speed up your metabolism. And you get to learn portion control. You get to learn when it's best to eat. It's all the things above. Fasting does that for you. I highly promote you to try fasting. Enough said. Done talking. Stop procrastinating, coach. Let's go to the workout. To hit these barbells. The first thing I'm going to do is get on the treadmill and run just one mile. All right. And after that, I'm going to do the barbell workout. The goal is just to get in 30 minutes of cardio. Not that walking around on the treadmill, walking around. In the, don't get me wrong, G. There's nothing wrong with that. But for me and my flavor and my taste, the way I want to get this body moving, functional, you got to do some functional, functional stuff. Moving your body, running, getting up and down. Throwing weights around. That's functional things. Enough said, my friend. Let's go.
runs complete. One mile run. I didn't go crazy because I've been a minute since I ran a mile. I got 11 minutes on that mile. Straight off real slow at a 5.0 pace. First lap, second lap, 5.2. Third lap, 5.5. Last lap, six miles an hour. I know I'm not fast. I ain't trying to beat everybody. I'm just trying to beat myself. Take my time as I get back into it. Enough said. Let's get this barbell complex going. It's going to be 10 solid rounds with three complexes st stacked on top of each other. But don't, don't let the word complex confuse you. Let me show you what we're going to do. The first portion of the workout is going to be RDLs to a, to a bent over row. RDL is a remaining deadlift or a stiff leg deadlift. I got my hands wide on this bar. Up, stand tall. That's the RDL. Down, bent over row. That's one rep. Up, down, bent over row. That's two reps. Go do five of those, all right? After you finish five of those, you're going to do a hang cling to a press. Hang cling, barbells wide, down by your knees, cling, press, down, cling, press. That's two reps. You're going to do five reps of those. Once we finish with that, right behind it, this OG is going to try to do some front squats. My shoulders are limited. It's not going to stop me, right? Front squats. Here we go. Onto here. Fingers on your bar. Barbell under your chin. Down. One. See, I got stiffness. Two. You know what? I'm not going to try to break the stiffness today. Instead of me doing front squats, because my hands feel real tight, I'm not going to even try to do that right now. I'm going to do Zercher squats. That's better for me. So the way it's going to flow, and uh, let me show you what a Zercher squat is. A Zercher squat is the barbell under your arms down to a squat, all right? So it's going to be kind of challenging to switch from presses, right, to a Zercher squat. So what I'm going to do, instead of doing, um, what's what we got? We got cleans to a press. Let's change it up. Let's do a curl to a reverse press. And then when I finish there, drop in and get me Zercher squats. So the only change I'm gonna do is a uh, curl, press. All right, instead of the hang clean and press. It's all the same, all about getting the car rate going, get the body movement, enough said. Watch me work, I'm gonna do 10 rounds. I'm gonna show you round one and two. Let me show you around nine and ten. Here we go. One, two, three, That was good. It's round one. Heart rate's up. Let's get it. This round two is coming up. Get a one minute break. Round two. That was round two. I got three, four, five, six, seven by myself and eight. I come back with nine and ten. Let's go. This is round number six. I made some more changes because I wanted to flow better than what I was doing. So instead of doing RDLs 
and bent over rows with the hands, palms facing you. We're going to do them facing away, facing away. That allows me to transition to the curl press faster. That allows me to crest that exerter bar when it's time to do those squats. Round six, seven, eight. We're going to do that, nine, ten. But you're going to see this round. Now come back for round nine and ten when we're all said and done. It's been about 20 minutes. Let's go, G. Here we go. Hands reverse now. Bent over row. Row, all right? RDL. Two. RDL. Three. RDL. Four. RDL. Five. Up. Curl. Press. Curl. Press. Curl. Three. Curl. Four. Curl. Five. Searcher. I love how they fall off. Ten of these. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. That's how you do it. Man, I'm feeling it. I'm going to do it by myself. Nine to ten. I'll be back. Let's show you how we end this thing. Look at the sweat, man. Cardio conditioning with resistance. You can't beat it, dude. Get on the treadmill all you want. Walk all you want. That's good. But when, you, when you're ready to expand your capacity, get that OG body moving, hit your boy up. Let's move some barbells. All right, OG, I lied to you, man. I, uh, I'm going to show you eight, nine, and ten. And the reason why I'm going to show you eight and nine and ten, what well, eight, I'm adding eight to it because, dude, I feel like quitting, right? I'm like, I can skip eight. No one would know, you know what I mean? I don't feel like it. I said, you know what? I got to be accountable. I got to be real. I got to be true. All right? So with that said, I'm using you as my spotter, as my motivator to keep going and don't skip any rounds. This is going to be round eight. I'm going to rest for 60 seconds, nine, and ten. You're going to see all of it, bro. No editing, no cuts, no nothing. I want you to see what I do, how I do it. When I fail, when I look good, it doesn't matter. You're going to see the realness. Enough said, G. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. Hands reverse. Wide. Up. Oh, one. Uh, two. Uh, three. Uh, four. Uh, five. Uh, curls. Press one. Two, three, four, five. Start the squats. Here we go. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo. Bro. Brother, feeling it? Heart rate's high. According to Apple, I'm at 152. All right, I'm at 33.40. At, at 34.40, I'm gonna start again. If you're wondering what I got on this bar, this bar itself is about 20 pounds. Both plates are 25. So 50 plus 20, just 70 pounds, my friend, working the whole body out. Now, if you wanted to pick a weight that you can do, you don't understand what weight to go with, since we're doing curls, pick a weight and what you can do at max five to ten curls. I'm, I ran out of memory on y'all. As I was saying, this is 70 pounds. Hey, main thing is find a weight where you can do comfortably ten, five, you're stressing, ten, you can get through it, all right? So ten, me, five, you can get through it, ten, you're stressing. That's the weight I want you to choose for when you're going to do this complex. Because the other movement is not all about muscle building. It's about utilizing weight for cardio conditioning. To get the heart rate up, to break a sweat, uh, just to get your body in condition and athletic. Enough said. I'm past my time slot. Round nine. Let's go. One. Two. Three. Four. Three, four, 
Search a scratch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Man, them searches enough joke. Bro, some of y'all wondering, dude, how are you transitioning from the press to the virtual squat? That weighs light. If it's been 250 pounds, heck no. I won't do that. This says 70 pounds. Come on. You got arms, you got strength. Catch it with your arms. Like you should catch that football, catch it. Hold that ball when you run, same thing. Catch it, hold it, and go. One more round, my friend. I'm right at 37, 20, Eight. The workout's going longer than I want it to be. Should be done at 30 minutes. I'm right at 37. Once the clock strikes 38, let's get it. We're gonna finish this workout before 40. I got you, man. The coach is feeling it. But it's so worth it, man. Cardio conditioning. This is my second workout. It's my cardio workout. I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna get in the sauna. I'm gonna go get in the sauna. I'm gonna take a shower, eat, and go to bed. Here we go. Round 10. As my homies Rick and Nady say, last set, best set. Father, give me the strength to make it through this last round. Safe and strong. Amen. Here we go. Ah. Started off wrong. Here we go. One. Bro, that's how we work, OZ. That's my capacity. That's my flow. You can do the same thing. Some of you can go faster, can go heavier. Some of y'all can go slower and go lighter. It doesn't matter your capacity versus mine. What matters is you do it and you grow. It's you versus you each and every day. You get better, my friend. We get better. Enough said. Appreciate you watching. Liking and subscribing to my OG Fit Club channel. If you, have, if you have not, go ahead and subscribe now. Much love to you as I catch my breath. Peace and blessings, OG. As my homie Haiti say, we out. Peace.